Welcome everyone. I want to go through and quickly show you something that popped up in our Discord today, which was how can you swap a token on base that may not be uh, that we may not have a liquidity on our exchange for. So what I want to do is quickly show you through how you can do it through using the service or the, or the swap UI that we have that goes around and will find liquidity even if we don't have it. So we've set up some special algorithms in there alongside Firebird that allows us to go out there and search for other tokens. So let's have a quick look. Um, I found a token that I want to buy. Let's say it's it's Xena here. It's on Sushi Swap. It's not on uh, it's not on Equalizer. We don't have any liquidity at the moment. But but let's just say we want to buy it, right? So what we can do is we can come down here and we can just basically get the the contract address because it's not going to be showing up in the UI. But someone's told you it's a good token. You want to get in on the action, so you come in here and you copy that. Before you do it, I do recommend you come in and you type in something like Xena here and just check the token, right? Because anyone can make this XEN token, deploy the contract, and then effectively you go out there and buy something, think you bought Xena, but you didn't actually buy it. So let's go and have a look and we can see, or, or we could even take the contract address from here. Um, we could do a Twitter search, so we could go in there, do some research about the token that you're buying, because anyone can deploy a contract, put a little ticker there, and next thing you know, you're buying a, a fake token. So you wanna understand and make sure you're buying the token that you actually want. So we've checked it, it's it's 9C5 there, and it's not, so we know it's the token that, that represents Xena. So now we go on to the swap UI, and we basically just copy and paste or paste that address in and it will now be saved in our local assets. Now, I'm gonna go in here and show you, you can manage those local assets here. You can remove them if you don't want them to show up anymore. Let's say you've had enough with Xeno, you've sold the token and you wanna remove it from the screen here. But um, for this exercise, uh, Xena's now been added. We come in, we click on Xena. Now it's sitting there. Let's say we want to buy $1 worth of Xena. We don't have liquidity on the exchange, on Equalizer, but this allows you to just swap, so you don't have to think too much. You're on base, you're new, someone's told you to buy a token, you don't even know where to buy it from. So you just come on here, paste your address in, you hit confirm for your transaction, um, and already now you've bought some Xena. So it's as simple as that. We're trying to make it really easy for people as they on-ramp onto the chain. People are coming over from you know Coinbase, they've never interacted on a blockchain, and we're making it simple so that you can basically come in, swap whatever token you, you know, you've, you've learned about, your friend told you about, that you wanna buy, and get in on the action, especially as things start to heat up, Bitcoin's on a bit of a run, you might come in and wanna purchase some tokens. So let's now say that you wanna get, let's go in here and show you that Zen, we do not have Zen, all right? We have no liquidity for Zen, so we're not accessing our own liquidity. We've gone and got liquidity off another exchange. Okay, so that transaction has occurred, and all the swap went went on in the background, and it's all done for you very, very simply, right? So we've just tried to make it easy for people who are especially new to the to the space to come in and trade on our exchange, even if um, you don't have liquidity. This is a good. We don't even have liquidity. This is a good place to come on and just basically um, ease of use sort of thing. So let's just say now you wanna sell your Zen. So you've got your Zen sitting there in the wallet. Um, effectively, you now wanna swap it. So let's just, for some reason, as we went out there, it just lost it. So, so we've, got the, we've got our Zen in our wallet and we wanna swap it here for scale, let's say. Now, what it's gonna do, and I wanna show you this path that it finds, because at the moment we've got our Zen and we're looking to swap it. It's coming along here and it's finding the best route. So it's going, what we need to do is swap Zen into ETH, then into scale, all right? So that's the best route to get you exactly what you want. And like in this instance, change that Zen over to scale, but we could have simply change it back to USDC. We could change it into ETH. We could change it into various other types of tokens. So let's just do the swap now, show you how simple it is. You click swap, come in here, sign the transaction, and now you've swapped your tokens back or, or, or into another token that you wanna take advantage of. So what I'm trying to show you is exactly how simple it is. You can come on our exchange, any token on base, enter the contract address and effectively swap into that token. Obviously do your research first, make sure you're buying a legitimate token. 
Um, and yeah, it's it's really a service there for you to utilize that, that just makes things easier.